Hey, what's up? My name is Dave, and as you know, I interpret everything. Today, I'm going to be interpreting Omniloop, a 2024 science fiction drama film written and directed by Bernardo Brito, starring Mary Louise Parker as a woman with a rare terminal disease of a black hole growing inside her body. She's set to die in five days' time, but thankfully, she actually has a pill that allows her to go back five days and relive those days over and over again in a time loop scenario as she attempts to figure out how time travel itself works along with Paula, played by Io Adebri, in order to get back to a place in her life when she didn't have the black hole or was stuck in a time loop. Even though certain subgenres in science fiction are told over and over again, such as time loops and time travel, I still deeply believe that there's so much more to explore than the same old story done over and over again. There's no reason why a movie like this has to contain movie tropes when there's so much more to explore. One thing Omniloop does right was mix and mash the two ideas into one. While you're primarily looking at a time loop film reliving the same week over and over and over again, it's also attempting to break down time loops in general in correlation to time travel in order to control time and fix the cycle. In a nutshell, that means the concept here works pretty well. There's also a subtle kooky atmosphere going on in the movie that's hard to explain, but if you're familiar with independent, lower-budgeted sci-fi films, then you'll more than likely know what I'm talking about. And whenever you have films that can't rely so much on visual stimuli, you have to instead rely on performances, atmosphere, and maybe a touch of cinematography, all of which are pretty good for Omniloop. Unfortunately, if I were forced to choose positives in the movie, that would most definitely be it. And even so, that's grasping at straws because even though the performances weren't too bad, and even though the cinematography was sometimes better than it was bad, it is 100% repetitive, and you'll likely stop caring about these things as the film progresses, because it just becomes boring. The introduction of everything is the best part of the movie. The way that it explains what's going on is honestly explosively promising, but it just doesn't introduce enough compelling moments for you to care about long term. There's a lot of scientific mumbo jumbo that mostly feels random, and I just couldn't help but feel as though the film could have easily done 20 different things narratively, and they all would have been a better choice than what Omni Loop ultimately did. Suffice it to say, I'm disappointed. I think that Mary Louise Parker, and especially Io Debris, are both great actresses. Io specifically has been climbing the ranks of success lately, and I'm not gonna lie and say she did a terrible job here because the movie's kinda bland. Not at all. I'd argue that she was easily the best thing about it, it's just an unfortunately tedious and cinematically monotonous film. At the end of the day, there's really not too much to talk about past that. The film tries to be deep, especially when it comes down to families and relationships and uh, being there for them. But even so, by the time you're supposed to care about what's going on in that department, you might have already checked out mentally while watching it. So just be warned of that. Overall, I'm going to give this a letter grade of D+. It's one of those movies where you can tell it could have been a lot better if only it did something else. And out of the easily 20 different routes, it could have taken the one option that would be the most tedious is ultimately what it took. Ah well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you'll love it. Who knows? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come out with my next movie review, whenever and whatever that may be. But until then, peace out.